Hi there, so today I am going to teach you how to trim a dog's nails. Um, this is Angie. So we're going to start off by saying that trimming your dog's nails can be hard. Angie's a very good dog, but if your dog puts up a bit of a fight or you don't feel comfortable uh, trimming their nails, you can call AHAs and schedule an appointment or um, have them come um, during your pet's annual checkup and um, they can do your pet's nails for you. Um, I say this because there is a blood supply that runs like through the nail and if you cut through that blood supply it will really hurt your dog and your dog's nails will bleed. So we can start by laying Angie down. Um, generally on their sides is the best way to do that. So I'm going to stand her up and then I'm going to pick her up by um, her sides kind of and get a grip on her legs. I'm going to pick her up and lay her down flat. And remember, Angie is a very good dog. So if your dog is more difficult, you might need somebody to help you with this. The other person can come around to this side and just if your dog isn't going to lay here like this gently just put some weight right here on the dog and here on the dog and when the nails are being trimmed whichever leg you're working on you can they can put their hand behind their elbow here so the dog can't pull back so we're going to get a pair of nail clippers here um, if you can't afford to buy a pair of nail clippers yourself um, at a pet store or a vet clinic, you can call AHAs and they can provide you with um, a nail clipper like this. They might look different, um, but they all do the same job. So if your dog, um, if you do cut through that nail um, blood supply, you can put corn um, starch on it. And I will show you that later. So on these white nails, it's very easy to see where the blood supply is. Um, basically, where this nail starts getting thinner is where there's no blood running through. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my thumb to where I want to cut. So I just want to cut this little sharp tip off. So right where it gets sharp at the end. So I'm going to put my nail clippers right here. And again, my thumb is right at the back so my nail clippers can't move. And I'm just going to cut. So you can see right here I'm close to the blood supply, but I haven't cut through it so it will not bleed. So if you accidentally do um, cut through that blood supply in the nail, you're gonna pinch off a bit of cornstarch here. And you can see I didn't cut through the blood supply, but if I did, I would pack this cornstarch on and it'll stay on there um, because of the blood, but I can knock it off because there's no blood. Um, right now and basically this cornstarch can just be left on the the nail and it will stop the bleeding and then it'll just fall off so you don't have to worry about washing it off so now that we have trimmed this nail we want to do it on every other nail on her paw but I'd like to note that some dogs have what's called a dew claw and it'll be right here that nail also needs to be trimmed and it can also be on the back leg right about here. So you want to see if your dog has dew claws and you'll want to trim them just like you did all of the other nails. But Angie does not have dew claws. Great, so you might be wondering how often you need to trim your dog's nails. That 
depends on how quickly your dog's nails grow. So you just want to look for um, the nail getting um, a little bit sharp at the end there. And once it does that, um, that's when you know that your dog's nails need to be trimmed. So now that we have um, trimmed all of Angie's nails, we can give her a treat. Susie, good girl. So this just lets her know that she did a really good job. Good job.